Something is happening in Cottage Grove, Oregon. It is about the community, and it is about taking care of their own, though, and it doesn't matter what walk of life that you come from. People are moving here, starting businesses here, setting up shop, and becoming part of a movement. Come here, and it's just it's small town America. You know, people walk down the sidewalk, still say hi to each other. That's special. Small town America, yes, but also a small town open to change, new people, new industry, and to those creative enough to catch the vision. You know, we don't, we don't want to get in the car and have to drive you know, to Eugene. We want to be here. I want to ride my bike in be able to you know, do everything within a couple of miles of my house. That search for a dream attracted early settlers and gold miners to Cottage Grove. Those elements are still drawing those who respect the past and are willing to push to the future. And was just so impressed with the natural beauty, uh, the rivers, the mountains, the bridges, covered bridges, and uh, I felt immediately at home uh, in the area. Cottage Grove is open to business. Alan Bear landed in Cottage Grove right out of college nearly 40 years ago. In the early days, he planted trees. I think we were impressed with the down-to-earth nature of people here and, um, and, you know, the ability to create something. You could make a mark here. And boy, did Alan make a mark. He created the Pacific Yurt Company, the leading manufacturer of modern yurts worldwide. Alan says the pioneering spirit is alive and well in this community. When Cottage Grove needed a new hospital, the community cared enough to raise over $2 million and partnered with Peace Health Hospital to build this beautiful facility. And the people of this community are incredibly generous. They do give to this hospital to make sure that there will be local health care. They do give to the kids so that they make sure that they have scholarships to go to college. The Cottage Grove Hospital has 12 beds, a state-of-the-art emergency room, and plenty of room to grow. So our intent is, is that by 2015 to 2017 that we would expand the other side of this clinic and add more primary care providers. When the community needed a new high school, people rallied behind the project. Putting together the funding for the new high school and the new uh, hospital, uh, it shows that people in the community really can work together to make things happen for the benefit uh, of the community here. Lane Community College also has a small campus right next door to the high school. In Cottage Grove, education is important and a key element in creating a successful community. There's a respect for history in Cottage Grove. I love this building. I, I love the axe and fiddle. Bart Caridio moved to Cottage Grove more than a decade ago. He opened the Axe and Fiddle public house in that old building five years ago and created a hot spot for good food, good spirits, and live music. The timing is just right for Cottage Grove with the new hospital, the high school, young couples moving here. They're just recognizing that they want to raise their children in a, in a small town environment where people do greet each other still and everybody seems to get along very well. These new arrivals bring new ideas and it somehow blends well with people who are already here because we all care about Cottage Grove. Marshall Gauze is one of those new families. He and his wife just bought a little farm a mile from town. There's a lot of uh, established businesses, a lot of a uh, very, you know, kind of agrarian and, and forestry tradition here, but then there's a lot of new energy. There's a lot of, there's a good music scene, there's a good, you know, artistic scene. There's, there's great places downtown that, you know, cities three, four times its size don't have anything close to. Um, so it's, 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 it's a special place. It's, it's got a lot of things that come, that come together here. Marshall is part of that new energy. He's developing a math-based video game. He hopes to have his employees working in downtown Cottage Grove soon. You know, veterans of engineering, game design, art, um, we're going to be working on this project and uh, we want to do it somewhere uh, where we're not going to be having to have deal with a lot of hassle and commuting all over the place. And so I can bike into town here and you know, we'll be able to have a shop downtown and probably uh, be doing a lot of work from home as well. Downtown Cottage Grove has the fiber optic system his computer business needs, and space here is less expensive than larger cities. In terms of recreation, you can't beat Cottage Grove. A 16-mile rail line that once brought timber from the mills to the town is now a beautiful paved cycling, running, and walking trail. Cottage Grove is business ready. Networks are established and connections created to help boost growth in and around the community.
Accessibility is top notch. Interstate 5, the main north-south freeway through Oregon, goes right through Cottage Grove. People come from diverse backgrounds and beliefs, but when it comes to what's good for Cottage Grove, everything else is secondary. Uh, it is a special little community, and everybody cares about the community. It's, uh, I think we put our political differences aside when we're talking about the city. We want, everybody wants this area to, to prosper and do well. Dreams of prosperity run deep in Cottage Grove. From big business to cottage industries, they all thrive in this place that encourages ideas and growth. Cottage Grove is more than a nice place. Cottage Grove is a great place to do business.